as you come through the gate over here, we just, we basically ripped everything out. We ripped out the existing patio, replaced the gate assembly, put new stone caps up there, came through here. The front door used to be right here, uh, but for a better layout inside, we moved the front door over here to uh, change the whole entryway feel to coming up the staircase, as you'll see whenever we go inside. Um, and just gonna make this feel a lot larger. As you come in through the new front door location, this is probably where we did our biggest transformation on this whole place. Um, obviously the front door used to be over there, and now it's here, you come in. We raised all of these ceilings, put in new I-beams, laminated beams down here. Um, uh, we exposed everything so you could actually see up this staircase. It used to be very closed in and boxed in, uh, and you felt like you were walking up a hallway. Uh, this has become the laundry room, which it used to just be kind of tucked off to the side with bifold doors. This right here used to be the furnace closet, and it was only accessed from inside of the garage. So what we did was move all the furnace systems up into the attic, transform that into a, uh, a cabinet for spices and stuff for the kitchen. We came into here, we gutted out the kitchen, it used to have a drop down ceiling uh, with the low lights in there. So it was about seven feet high to the ceiling. Uh, by raising these cabinets up, uh, we were able to do almost 12 foot ceilings. Cabinets stand at eight foot tall, over and under lighting, all custom built, all solid wood. Um, since it is paint grade, we went poplar, but it is all solid wood. Um, uh, everything is soft close, did all kinds of customs to accommodate what the customer wanted. We've got some spice racks, just different types of customizing. That is a composite crushed granite sink. And we've got a double trash can pullout. Some tucked away, big drawers. Like I said, everything soft clothes. These floors, they were very uneven. Um, there was issues with the slab, there were cracks all over the place. We had to come in and basically stitch the concrete together all over the place. Uh, we did a lot of leveling. There were areas that were an inch and a half low. Um, <clears throat> we probably spent about two weeks worth of time dealing with prepping this floor. Um, we ripped out all existing. There was existing, there was limestone down throughout the entire place and then carpet on top of that. We ripped all that out. Uh, prepped it, got the floor leveled, did the hardwoods all through the living areas down into the hallway. Um, and then the 12 by 24 herringbone on all your wet areas, kitchen baths, all that stuff. We just really wanted an open concept. So the kitchen actually did used to be closed off to those areas and there's just a doorway right there. So we opened that all up. Uh, this used to be the dining room. By moving the front door, it gave us the opportunity to eliminate this as the entryway and now it became a very large dining room so this is kind of your living game area um, built this kind of entertainment center over here it's all wired up this is set up to put a tv over here with a full wet bar and everything right here um, and you've got your your wine rack just a small cabinet a wine refrigerator ice machine and then this is all set up uh, we did add this whole assembly uh, right here. There was a small window. I think, I think the last window stopped right here. So we cut this whole thing out, added everything right here so that when they want to do parties or anything outside, they can actually open up this window, slide it, and serve on the outside there. The whole reason the customer purchased this place was for that view right there. So we were trying to get as much of that as we could right here. So we, it had, I don't remember how many smaller windows it had, but it definitely had not as much of the view. So we opened this whole wall up, reframed it, put a header through the top there, um, and just put as much of glass on this wall as we possibly could. The fireplace, we maintained the original stone just to cut costs and not have to go crazy on that, but we did add the, the granite on the hearse and we did build the mantle and then wrapped it out in the trim at the top and just cleaned it up. It did have a lot of soot, but for the most part, it was really nice stone already, so. So, so right here with all, all we've got going on right here, obviously we moved the front door, we raised this ceiling, and there used to be a wall that came out to about right here, so there was no load issues right here. Um, because we did, this is a 30 foot span, uh, got an engineer out here, and we decided that it would be best to go ahead, 
put a pier in the wall over there, put a pier in the wall over here. Uh, we did LVL posts in here, in the wall, in the wall, and then two beams in the ceiling to carry this load so that we could do this open layout right here. Um, and so this is actually load bearing right here. We did have to maintain this. We could not eliminate that, um, but it's definitely more open concept than it used to be with I-beams carrying through on the ceiling itself all the way back to that side. This room is fairly simple. There was a, a elongated closet down there, but there's already a closet right there, so that wasn't necessary. So we ripped out that closet to enlarge the bedroom. Uh, it's gonna be used as a office slash bedroom. So now we have room for a bed down there with a desk set up down here. And because of that, we went ahead and added some can lights in here just to give it some better lighting. Um, Recarpeted, full paint, all new trim work. Um, and then every closet was rebuilt. We came through, gutted them out, and did a new shelving units and everything else in there. So for this bathroom, it was a complete gut. We took it down to the studs. We came in, leveled the concrete on the floors, herringbone, 12 by 24, uh, ceramic, uh, came in, custom built cabinets, uh, obviously new granite countertops, uh, gutted out the shower, but because it was over five foot, uh, we went ahead and put a five foot tub in there so we could create the shelf up there. Uh, did a custom mural on the uh, back there with limestone around the edging and a herringbone travertine in the center. Uh, all new fixtures. Right here in this room, we actually ripped out the uh, back door assembly to give them more lighting through there and also give them that view because this is the master. Uh, we came through and added a lot of electrical and there's the crown lighting. There's the cans. There was a window, or no, that was a mirror wall that we ripped out. Yeah, there is a surround sound through the entire house. Yeah, we're still waiting on the hub to be installed at the, uh, the wet bar, but yeah, there's two speakers in here, four speakers in the living area. And they're all be zoned and exterior speakers. In here, Again, just like the other bathrooms, this one was a full gut out. Uh, it used to have a drop down tub over there. We wanted to open this up, make it feel larger. Um, so what we did was brought the tub up, the shower's in there. We brought the tub up, did a soaker tub so it'd be a little bit skinnier. Um, we added a makeup station. And it, this used to be a couple of tiers and we actually went elongated and did one tier to help make this just feel more open and larger. Uh, this is his, that's hers. They both have the same size vanities, but yes, you do have a makeup station, plenty of storage. I mean, these are all nice large drawers. And this is for a pencil drawer. This used to be a toilet, duvet, and then a small steam shower. So we ripped out the duvet, uh, took it down to just one toilet, and then we blew out the shower to about a five by five. Walk in with the rain head. Kind of same design tile work as in the other bathroom. It's got a custom bench. It's got an inset niche on the back of this pony wall. In the uh, closet here, we did a uh, just again a complete gut out. We built all the shelving and everything. Uh, built it to the customer specifications the way that they wanted it. We were able to add in a little bit different lighting. It used to be have two doors and kind of like a divider, so we wanted to open this up as best we could. Uh, we added in an attic entrance just to get to it from this side of the house. Um, and just kind of went with the theme of the master bedroom. Okay, so out here, we uh, wanted to give the customer a really nice, just kind of hangout party area where they can hang out, look at the view. Uh, we came through. Like I said, we added in this window for a serving bar. That's why we've got such a big top right here. So they're gonna be able to serve out of this. Um, we added, there used to be a wooden deck right here. We ripped that whole thing off. We brought in a lot of dirt, put in uh, some stem walls, raised this up, custom slab, uh, dyed and stamped concrete, uh, added in this gazebo, uh, and it is all roofed in, so it will not leak. Uh, custom built handrail, uh, kind of have like a two tier. This is kind of, because this comes off the master wing, so this right here is all set up for them to be able to uh, have like their little sitting area and then this kind of designated for the party area but to make it feel larger we left this open actually this is going to be the secondary guest bedroom that's what they're going to treat this as so this is where we kind of we didn't absolutely replace everything those two windows are original but the seals were good so we kept those uh, 
Um, mainly we just did a full paint job, new trim, carpet, ground. Um, and we did add a secondary unit to the AC system to come up here. It was originally uh, set up for one system. This is a secondary guest and that is why we've kind of kept some of this original tile work uh, and the original cabinetry. We just re refaced those cabinets. This is a brand new vanity, uh, custom built to match all the rest of the house. We did add the cannon to the shower, uh, but just try to keep it simple in here. Uh, a new shower glass door assembly.